Welcome back. Uh, major front page news. Uh, Michael Douglas Shocker, sex gave me cancer. Yeah, everybody's talking about it this morning. Is it possible? Uh, we brought in Dr. Samadhi, who uh, is a Fox correspondent. He's also the chief of robotics and minimally invasive surgery at Mount Sinai Medical Center. Dr. Samadhi, nice to have you back on Good Day New York. Sure. Is it true you can get oral cancer from oral sex? Absolutely. And one of the major risk factors, as you mentioned, is obviously smoking and alcohol. But human papillomavirus, HPV, is a huge risk factor. And it's actually the numbers of throat cancer instead of going down as a result of all the smoking awareness is on the rise because this one HPV is making up for it and more and more men and women are coming up with this kind of women cancer too. yes they can but certainly men is in that population this is on the rise because of this virus now he's a known smoker and um, drank a fair amount during his life this is not just his hunch doctors are telling him that HPV is what caused this yes about two years ago Greg he started complaining of ear pain he had a lot of dental issues and he went on and they kept giving him antibiotics which is a huge mistake and that's a big lesson for a lot of people that if it doesn't get better make sure that you get a second opinion he goes on for a few months until somebody thank god they looked in, inside his mouth they examined him and they saw this walnut big cancer at the base of his throat and that's when they found out that he has stage four which is a very aggressive cancer now a lot of times you may have simple cough you may have hoarseness you may have some ear pain so you gotta make sure that you see appropriate doctors he went on food surgery and chemotherapy it's two years out he's cured and he needs a very close follow-up to make sure that he does well what i don't understand if he was a smoker and drinker and he was conducting oral sex. How do you distinguish which one gave him the cancer? Well, the biopsies that they did indicates that he had that. Now, I am also very grateful that he came forward and he's talking about it because every time you have a celebrity like him, Angelina Jolie, for breast cancer, they bring tremendous awareness to cancer and they can make change lives. So by this awareness, we need people to be more aware of this particular one. HPV is a very common virus and almost half of the people that are sexually active have this. They may or may not know because there are no symptoms with it so, so how do you know if you have you know what should you do to find out if you have it? you don't so if you get involved in any kind of oral sex and the other person has it that person may not know it you you're you're susceptible now we've talked in the past on this program about HPV and cervical cancer so one of the things that can HPV do is cervical cancer so getting pap smear on regular basis every two years is important for women and certainly for men if you're going to have that without knowing who the partner is and what kind of disease they may have that's a major risk factor he also mentioned stress that stress may have triggered this at least he thought it might have at one point now Michael Douglas also has been going through a lot of stress his son Cameron was incarcerated I think he's still in jail yeah, right now a uh, drug problem. right right uh, could can stress trigger cancer it's an excellent question Greg and there's no real good study to support it we know that probably stress can reduce your or weaken your immune system so the cancer can take over so can stress bring up the cancer the answer is no if you have underlying cancer or a cell that it's about to take off with stress and your lower immune system that can become active there's still the jury is out but certainly tobacco smoking chewing tobacco you know alcohol and HPV are major risk factors for this and you got to be careful this is a real deal and again this virus can come and go on its own there are so many variants of so HPV so it doesn't need to be treated a lot of times it may just disappear on its own and you may not know it because your body would get rid of it but sometimes it can become lesions and we may see it among men as a urologist and it can be treated and can be taken care of all right so he's created some awareness but what is the takeaway and i, I did not know you were going to be this graphic but you know intercourse has seemed more potentially high risk than oral sex what is what is the takeaway here look I think that when you talk about this about when it comes to saving lives it's okay to be a little graphic about this use condoms or make sure that your partner you have a steady partnership if you're going outside you're gonna have this kind of oral sex with a lot of people that's one of the risk factors if you have symptoms it's minor symptoms of ear pain or or, or, or hoarseness or cough Make sure you see the specialist. They have to scope you and look to see if there's any kind of cancer. The sooner we detect it, the better it is. Obviously, smoking and alcohol, those are all risk factors, and you've got to cut down on as much as you can. All right, Dr. Samadhi, um, clearing up what everybody's talking about this morning. It's on the front page of the Post. All right. Thank you. Dr. Thank David Samadhi from nice Mount Sinai.